In this video, I'm going to have a look at updating the Dell UFI BIOS from a USB flash drive. Now, there are a couple of terms that I'm going to use, such as Unified Extensive Firmware Interface, Basic Input-Output System, System Management BIOS, and Universal Serial Bus. Now, a lot of these terms get quite confused with one another. So let me just break them down. So basic input output system, as the name suggests, is very basic and it allows for a number of input output system operations on your computer before you even get round to installing the operating system. So the ability to boot from a USB or a CD or DVD, for instance. Now the term Bias comes from older hardware, where the number of operations supported were very basic. With newer systems, the bias evolved into the unified extensive firmware interface, so it's no longer basic, but quite advanced. And the number of operations that can be done natively within the system's firmware has increased substantially. Now, although We've switched over to the term UFI. The term bias is still used in a lot of places. So the term bias setup is used, bias boot menu and bias version. I would argue that it's better to use the terminology UFI setup, UFI boot menu and UFI version. But in most cases, the name bias is still used. So we call it a BIOS version, although it's strictly a UFI version. And associated with the term BIOS is system management BIOS. Now the system management BIOS does not get updated unless you actually change your hardware. So it corresponds to the date of manufacture and the technologies available at the time of manufacture. The BIOS version, on the other hand, does get updated during the system's life cycle as a number of security firmware patches, performance tweaks and other fixes are made available. Now Dell systems with a SM BIOS version of 3.0 or higher have the ability to update the UFI BIOS version using the UFI BIOS boot menu from a USB flash drive. Older systems do not have this ability natively and you need to create a free DOS bootable USB. And I've made a separate tutorial video on doing this with older Dell hardware. So just to clarify, this will only work if you've got an SM BIOS version of 3.0 and this depends on the date of manufacture of your hardware. So for this case, it should be late 2015 or newer hardware as the SM BIOS version got updated to version 3.0 and this included the ability to update the BIOS using a USB flash drive and other additional useful things such as Dell Data Wipe. So I'm going to instruct in just making the USB flash drive within Windows and within Linux and then performing the UFI BIOS update from the USB flash drive. Okay, so what happens if we don't have an operating system on the DELM? Well, what we can do is power it up and press F2 to get to the UFI BIOS setup. So to the top left, you should see what the model of the DELM is, and then you should see the BIOS version in system information. Now, unfortunately, the SM BIOS version isn't listed under system information. However, for a newer UFI BIOS, you should have a secure boot tab and you'll have associated advanced boot options. And under maintenance, you should have data wipe. If you don't have these features, then you likely have an older SM BIOS version. Now, if we power off, and power it up and press F12, you should see BIOS flash update listed within the boot menu. And once again, if you don't have this, you've got an older SM BIOS version 
and you're going to have to use the FreeDOS bootable USB to update the BIOS from a USB flash drive. Okay, so if you're in Windows, you can press Windows and R and type in msinfo32. You'll get the SM BIOS version, you'll get the BIOS version and date, and you'll get other information such as the system model and manufacturer. So we know this is a Dell Optiplex 7050. And on a Windows computer, I'm just going to download two things. One of these is Rufus, which is just a useful program to format the USB flash drive. So basically, I'm just going to launch Rufus and I'm going to make a non-bootable USB flash drive. So under boot selection, I'm just going to select non-bootable. And under partition scheme, I'm going to make sure it's GPT and under file system, make sure it's FAT32 and I'll just update the volume label to USB and then I'll select start accept the warning to format the USB flash drive which will of course remove all data on it and that's me got just a blank USB flash drive to begin with next I'm going to go to the Dell website and I'm going to visit the drivers and downloads page. So go to support and then view all support. And here we can select driver and downloads. And you can either scan for your system or you can browse for it manually. So in this case, it's an Optiplex. 7000 series and a 7050 and I just want to select BIOS and I want to download the latest BIOS update And now let's just copy the BIOS update to the blank USB flash drive. And that's all we need to go ahead and update the BIOS. So let's just power off the system and now power up and press F12 to get to the UFI BIOS boot menu and just select BIOS flash update. And here to the top right, we just want to browse and it should automatically select the USB flash drive. So you can select the update and then just select begin flash update and then select yes to proceed and it should restart and perform the UFI BIOS update for you And then we can just log back into Windows and once again, press Windows and R and open up MS Info 32 and just see that the UFI bias is updated to the latest version. Okay, so I'll now move over to an Optiplex 7040 running Ubuntu and I'm going to open up the terminal and I'm going to type in sudo so super user do everything and then dmi decode and then just to get the bias update we're going to type in dash s and then bias version and because we're running as a super user we need to type in our password to verify this 
So that gives us just the bias version. If we want the SM bias version, then we'll just need to tell this command to print out everything and we'll get this fairly detailed information. And all we want to do is scroll to the top and here we'll get the SM bias version. And we'll also see that it's a Dell Optiplex 7040. So in place of Rufus, I'm going to use Gparted. So I'll need to go ahead and install that. And now that Gparted is installed, I'll go ahead and launch it. Now this program requires authentication, so I'll need to authenticate it. So to the top right, I just want to select the USB flash drive. I want to right click it and select unmount. And then I want to format to FAT32 and apply the changes. And this should successfully format the USB flash drive. So it's FAT32. And now let's go to the Dell website and download the BIOS update. So once again, we'll go to dell.co.uk and then support. And then view all support. And then go to browse all products and select the uh, Optiplex 7040 this time. And select BIOS as the operating system. And this will give the BIOS update. So we'll just download this and save it to downloads. Okay, so if your USB flash drive doesn't show within the file explorer, just take it out of the computer and insert it in again. This will remount it so you can access it. And then just copy the BIOS update to it. And now I'll go ahead and perform the BIOS update. So once again, just power on the Dell and press F12 and select BIOS flash update and then browse and the USB should automatically be loaded. Select the BIOS update and begin the flash update. So the BIOS update should proceed. And once you log back into Ubuntu, you can just open up the terminal and check the BIOS version. So here you should see that the BIOS version has been updated. 